In this video, welcome to PDS the tutor. We will be looking at light. I only have one question, and we we'll look at this question. So, before I go anywhere, you know that light undergoes a lot of pro processes, and some of them are reflection which is the bouncing back of light when it meets a so reflection is just the bouncing back of light when it emits a rough or a smooth surface can we present by this so this is what we call a surface then this is what we call the normal lay then this ray coming from this side and is striking at this point here we call it the incident ray. Then this one which lives on the other side we call it the refracted ray. Alright? Like that. So now this angle here, which is uh, here and this angle here, they are equal. So the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction. If here is 40, that means even here is 40. That's what you have to know about refraction. Now this can also take on a, not, to, not only on a smooth surface, but it can also take place on a rough surface. But it doesn't matter. This angle and that angle, they are going to be equal. Then another property that you have to be familiar with is the refraction property of light. Refraction. Refraction is the bending of light, okay, of light rays as they move from one medium to the other. So what exactly do we mean by that? So let me just open another page. Okay, so what diffraction is about is that if this is a surface, okay, and we call this the normal ray, so let's call this one surface, and let's call this one the normal ray, all right? Now, when, when light is coming from, so let's call this medium one, and let's call this one medium two. So light, when light is coming from this medium, and as long as it reaches this point, as long as these two, they are having di different densities, all right? Different densities. Light is going either to bend towards the normal or away from the normal. But how, when does light bend towards or away? So light will bend towards so let me just say light will bend towards normal ray when when this side right when this medium is less dense sorry sorry is denser than is yeah is less dense than this one so let's say So this one is more dense. Less dense. So if it's like that, then light will bend towards the normal. And this angle is the angle of incidence. And the angle which is formed here, it's the angle of ref fraction now this angle and this angle they are not equal so this angle and this angle are not equal we'll look at it properly when we start looking at snell's law then we have by the way now so these angles are not equal therefore snell's law now comes in apply now 
Snell's law allows you to find the refractive index. All right? The refractive index. So the refractive index is just the ratio of the sine, sine of the angle of incidence over sine of the angle of refraction. For example, if I have this and I have something like that, I have this angle to be 40, I have this angle to be 50. So then if I've been told to find the refractive index, the refractive index has got this symbol. Others they use this, others they use this. So there is no problem. So refractive index is equal to sine i over sine r. So sine i is this angle between this and this. Don't get this angle here. Please, don't get this angle. We only get this angle here between the normal ray and the, and the, uh, and the, the, the incident ray. So this will be sine sine 40 divided by sine 50. So let me just do this. Divided by sine 50. So if you have a calculator when you punch sine 40 divided by sine 50, you should get something like 0 0.839 and so on. So this is just your refractive index. And it shows how this median, uh, these medium are dancing or not dancing. It shows the comparison between the two. So let, coming back to our question, um, we have this question that says the figure below shows a ray of light entering and leaving a glass block. So we have a paper, a ray of light. Name the rays A to D. What is ray A? Ray A is just the the incident ray while b when you look at b b is bending eh? when teacher here is bending so b is the refracted ray right since it's bending then we look at c c it's coming out of the block right we call it an emergent ray sorry Emergent ray. Then D is just bouncing back like that. So when it comes like that, it bounces back. So D is what we call the reflected ray. On the diagram, indicate I and R for angles of incidence and angles of refraction, respectively. So how can you indicate the angle of incidence? So the angle of incidence is the uh, is this angle formed here. So we can indicate there. It's also this angle formed here. All right. Now angle of refraction to refraction just has to do with bouncing. Sorry, bending. All right. So we have here. Ara, uh, even here. Ara. Uh, then for a certain piece of glass block, the angle of incidence. Is found to be 25 so we have the angle of incidence 25 degrees and the angle of refraction was found to be 16 so diffraction was found to be 16 degrees using this information calculate the refractive index of this piece of graph to two decimal places so refractive index you just learned that it's sine the sine sorry sine i divided by sine r so sine i it's just sine 25 over sine 16. So we look at that. So we are saying sine 20, sorry, sine 25 divided by sine 16. Now they say to two decimal places. So we have 1.53 and we are done. So thank you so much for watching. If you've been following my videos, don't forget to like and share on my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Previous the Tutor.